Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Coral Reefs, how's everybody doing? Hope you guys are doing pretty good. I'm here today to talk about how I got my nutrients down, my nitrates. But let's go take a look at the tank. You can see my corals. They're doing absolutely fine. They're all healthy. You can see the hammer heads. My blue tang, all the corals are doing fine in the tank. As you guys can see, and you can see the clown fishes, all the other fishes, they're all happy. They're all happy because the nitrates are down. I've been battling with nitrates for years, for about 15 years. And my nitrates, the highest, it, God, this was 18 ppm. That's the highest I ever dealt with with nitrates, 18 ppm. So at that time, I had to do a water change. And I was getting sick and tired of doing water changes. So I had to do water changes once a week. And my fish tank ain't stocked up with that many fishes. So I'm not feeding the fishes a heck of a lot in this tank. I would feed them once a day. And that's it. I'm able to feed them more these days because I keep I keep my nitrates down now. So I got my nitrates in check. People were telling me for years, I need a skimmer, I need a skimmer. <clears throat> and I never had a skimmer. This is the first year, this year, that I bought a skimmer. Thinking that the skimmer will get my nitrates down, my nutrients down. But I had the skimmer running for about three months and my nitrates was still high. Yeah, it wasn't as high. The highest it would get with this skimmer will be 15 ppm. So the skimmer worked a little bit, but it did not absorb 80% of the nitrates. Just a little bit. So, you know, I think that was just a waste of money for that skimmer. I didn't need the skimmer. Never had that skimmer. And I was just trying to keep my nitrates under control so people are saying you need a skimmer, you need a skimmer. <clears throat> so I finally bought the skimmer and the, the skimmer worked, but it didn't, it only brought my nitrates down 3%. That's all basically it brought my nitrates down. So I tried vinegar dosing. As you guys see my other videos, the vinegar, vinegar dosing did not work for me. It worked for the first week, then the second week I upped it and my nitrates you know, we're, we're still at 14, 15 ppms. So, that, it didn't work. So I got so fed up that I tried something else. And what I did, I added a lot more to my refugium. A lot more. As you guys can see, I added some rocks in there. And more algae. can't say the name but it's, it's on the screen the name of this red algae this is what I put down and plus my chill I had that chill in there for about eight months and it's not growing I don't know why it's not growing but it's not growing with all the nitrates I had but you can see it's still it's nice and green but it's not growing but ever since I added these red guys my and my nitrates start started coming down. So my nitrates start coming down. So these guys here start absorbing the nitrates. So that's what it did. Plus, with a little help um of dosing and let's get onto the table and let me show you what i'm using to dose so basically i what i did i added the rocks added that plus my skimmer going and i added the miracle mud and you can see down there there's the miracle mud i added all this in here and it reduced my nitrates 
down to 9.8. 9.8. My goal is to get it to 9. So I'm a 9.8. So I'm dosing this other um, liquid. Let's get to the table and I'll show you what I'm using. And you guys can see this is what I'm using. I'm using Red Sea Algae Management. I'm using Red Sea Algae Management. This stuff I'm using once every other day. I'm adding this because I have phosphates. And this helps with the phosphates. So I'm dosing this to bring my phosphates down. And it has nitrates in there. So it's helping with the nitrates. But I'm trying to get my phosphates under control, which it is, by, by me using this bottle. So this is the bottle I'm using to get my phosphates and nitrates down even down to my desired level of 9 parts per million. So this bottle here works. It's not the same as spots of video. I'm just giving a shout out to Red Sea because this bottle here works. It 100% works. It's working for me. And I've been using it for a couple days now. And it 100% works. Um, it brings my phosphates down. I use 5 milliliters every other day. That's all I use. 5 millimeters of this bottle to keep my phosphates in check. But this is the magic trick right here. This is the bottle that if you guys are having issues with your phosphates and nitrates are high, this is the bottle to try. So this is the bottle I'm using to keep my nu my nutrients in check. And plus, it's the rocks that I added to absorb a lot of the nutrients and the red algae that you can see in there. Not the coral. I put the coral in there so when people will see it, they can see some corals in there. But with this and that bottle, you guys, it's guaranteed to get your nitrates down to the manageable level. Like I said, I was dealing with an 18 parts per million. Now I'm down to 9.89. So that works for me. And like I said, folks, I'll leave a link in the description to buy it on Amazon. If you guys use that link in the description, it helps the channel, helps me out, helps to grow my channel. I would, I would very much appreciate it. But now, so that's what I'm using. So let's go to the table. And let's check my nitrates. See where my nitrates are at today. All right, folks, I'm using the Hannah Checker. I recommend this. This is accurate, very accurate, I think, in my opinion, with all the test kits I've been trying for the last 15 years. So this is what I recommend. If you guys want to pick, pick one up, I'll leave the friendly link down in the description on Amazon where to pick it up. But this is... What I've been using for the last three months. And trust me, I've been checking. A lot, you know, I've been using, using a lot of um, other test, test kits. And this is, more, this is more accurate than all the test kits, in my opinion. So that's what I'm using, the hand of checker. So what I did, I got some um, sample water for my tank. I'm going to turn it on. And I got C1, so I'll put it in until I get C2. And then I'm at C2. So now what I got to do, I got to add the chemical in here to do its magic thing. And here's the chemical. I got it open ready. It's in the bag. It's a powder form. Did I gotta try to get into this bottle? It's hard to do. All right, got it. Got it in the bottle. And what I do, I clean this bottle, or I gotta shake this for about two minutes. So while I'm shaking this, folks, I won't, I won't bore you. I'll come right back after the two minutes. All right, it's coming up to the two minutes of me shaking. Shake, shake, shake.
And now I'm going to wipe the bottle down. And the next thing is, with this hand checker, I got to put it in there, press and hold, and the count time will come out for seven minutes. So it's scanning for seven minutes, and I don't want to have this on hold for seven minutes. So I'm going to leave it right here. So you guys can see the countdown. So you know that this is legit. I'm not doing no hokey pokey, nothing like this. Like I said, this, uh, this ain't a sponsored video whatsoever. As you can see, I don't have that many subscribers for anyone wanting to sponsor me. I'm just doing, I'm just telling you what I'm using because it works for me after 15 years of using other test kits. This one here, the nitrate high, Worked for me. I like the test. It's easy, simple, and it's one of the most accurate tests out there. And if you want something that easy, that simple, this is the one to get it, folks. Like I said, the link will be in the description. All right, guys, I'll come back before um, before the timer runs out so you, so you guys can see, like, maybe a minute left. All right, folks. All right. Now we got about 26 minutes. 26 seconds left. Like I said, for this Hanna checker, um, nitrates high. This is there. They are two. They got two testers. One high, one low. I'm using the high. I'll leave it the link in the description to Amazon. And here we go. Moment of truth, folks. There you go, 9.4. You can see it's it's working with the way I'm using it. I'm using, and you can see, 9.4, and everybody's healthy in here. I um, by adding the rocks in the refusion, the red algae in the sump, and the rocks. It's helping bring my nitrates down. Like I said, I've been battling with this for almost four, 15 years, trying to get the nitrates down. Now I got it down. So, folks, this is what this is what I'm doing to keep my tank under control with the nitrates down and my phosphates down. And you see how, how healthy my tank is. So, like I said, with that red, red sea bottle, I do once... Every other day, five, milli five milliliters. Once every other day to keep the phosphates down and helps with the nitrates and the rocks and the red algae in my sump. And it's working, folks. I can tell you it's working. This is something if you're battling with high nitrates to give it a shot and see if it works for you. Let me know in the description if you guys try this method and it's working for you. Let me know in the description, and I um, appreciate for you guys um, watching my videos and liking my videos. Please subscribe. If you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed already, I'll be doing more videos like this. Thank you very much, folks, and have a great day.